you. You're wounded, Jack. Let me help. What are you waiting for? Jump, Cole. Jump for it. A different kind of war. I can't believe this is our last case, guys. I don't know if I'm ready. It's got to be one of these places. It's my man's. So this must be after, not the last case, but the one previous. The arsonist's a bug sprayer. He must have worked at one of these joints. Oh, that's right, and the German lady got kidnapped. That's right. I ain't driving your crazy game. All right, rapid exterminators. I don't remember if there was one that we, like the game told me what it was earlier. They probably did. But I don't remember, so we're just gonna check them all out. Hello, sir. Help you? Do you have a crazy arsonist? Oh, this guy. How many guys you have working here, Pop? Who's asking, son? Me. It could be official or unofficial. Depends on how you want to play it. You should get to a hospital, son. That arm of yours appears to be letting in daylight. <laughs> Save the pity for the other guys. They're the ones who need it. I'm looking for a big cowboy who works pest control. Does he work here? We don't have anyone like that here. Mm -hmm. You sure? I'm not the type of guy you want coming back. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Is that a newspaper, bro? <gasps> oh, my, probably our last newspaper. Are you guys ready? Let's go. <gasps> Courtney. Oh, rough. What have you got? Oh, rough. Looks like a drug overdose. Get away from him, Phelps. This is my Get case. Get the fuck out of here, Shut boy. Your fucking mouth. <laughs> Since when does a bag man work a case? I knew this creep wasn't on the morphine heist. Victim of his own product. Hey, detective! Can we back it off a notch? This is getting out of hand. It's a time to talk and a time to shut up. <laughs> now is the time to be quiet, son. Courtney Sheldon was a corpsman, Roy. He served his country. He went out with a medical kit and an Army 45 into places that made the Valley of Death look like a picnic. He was either naive enough or dumb enough to get involved in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, along with the mayor, the DA, Monroe, and a certain crooked cop. He was involved in the morphine heist, but he has a puncture wound in his jugular, which makes this a murder case. He was a better man than you'll ever know. You say one more word about him and I will blow your fucking head off! <laughs> you finally lost it, partner. I have a pretty good idea why Sheldon is dead, and I know about Monroe. Your vast, corrupt future is draining away as we speak. <laughs> I got better things to do than argue the rub with you. Stay with him until the coroner gets here. Make sure technical services bags the evidence. If you let this creep anywhere near it, I'll come looking for you. Yes, sir. You know, Phelps, you're not the worst asshole going around. Thanks, Herschel. I'm so glad we saw that. That was amazing. Put Roy in his goddamn puss. That was sick. All right, Phelps, you get a little respect for me. Hmm. Nothing's jumping out at me. Some motor oil, nice. All right, maybe we just ask him some questions. I don't understand. <laughs> All right, sure. You're bleeding on my floor. Can you move along? What the frick? What am I missing here? Am I missing something here? I can sit down awkwardly. Okay. Sure. No clues. Seems about right. Oh, we're done here. Okay. Thanks, game. That would be nice to know. <laughs> Alright, well, bye. You unhelpful bitch. I'm out of here. Alright, next stop. The nuclear one. Sounds pretty cool. It's definitely the Westlake one, but we'll play along. I don't recognize this place, though. Welcome to nuclear. What can I do you for? I work for the DA. I need to speak with an exterminator. Big guy with a cowboy right accent. We have only three people work here. Me and two Mexicans. They're both on the scrawny side. Thanks for your help. <laughs> I knew it was the last one, but I have to be thorough, okay? Last but not least. I just love how we have, like, blood on our face. 
and have just a dripping rune and we're like what about it do you think we know about the, our mistress i work for the da or want to be i'm a looking for a big cowboy does extermination anyone like that working here well i wouldn't want to get anyone into any trouble we could do this the hard way an address yeah he lives in a bunkhouse on the remains of the old rancho rincon thanks what I knew this guy was bananas, but, like, I think if I remember correctly that he kidnapped the German lady, and I don't think either of them know, so that'll be interesting. I wonder who's gonna end up with the lady. Fat bet it's Kelso. Just saying. It's the better of the two options. If she was smart, that's who she'd pick. Ah, uh, look who it is. Oh, <gasps> look Cole, who it is. You made it. What's this got to do with me, Rusty? Dr. Fontaine, prominent shrink. Dead in his patient's room. Spine snapped like a twig. Oh, yeah. The suspect is one of his mental patients. I've met Fontaine. His last patient was Elsa Lickman, Cole. She's missing. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Nurse said that she saw some big Boris Karloff type carry her out of here. The best thing that you can do to help me, Rusty, is let me take a look around. Sure thing, Cole. This way. <laughs> Rusty's like, calm the fuck down. I was, that's why I called you. <laughs> so cute do you think we'll get stefan back if stefan comes i would just be like cloud nine i need all my boys with me need that support oh my god not everything here is going to be relevant all right don't yell at me game didn't get this far from being not in thorough look at all that beautiful morphine delicious Looks like Fontaine has finally dispensed his last treatment. Oh, Phelps, I missed your lines. Anything outside? No, okay. Oh my god, is that a Take novel newspaper, bro? I'll give you and the doctor some what the F? Two and one special? Hell yeah, dude. Oh, it's this guy. Monroe. That goddamn pet lunatic of yours is burning down our houses. Keep your voice down, Leland. Control is of the essence. Keep your voice down. Do you know how much these sons of bitches charge for lunch? Fuck them! <laughs> Leland, we will not solve our problems by announcing them to the general public. We only speed ourselves on our way to the gallows. He's your imbecile, Harlan. Get him under control or get rid of him. Speaking of which, I've had to dispose of our young medical student. What? You certainly are a cold character, Harlan. He's a psychopath. He has a friend called Kelso. He knows all about the development on Normandy Avenue. I know about Kelso. And you thought it unimportant to inform him. I thought I could take care of it. Have you? No, I haven't. Kelso works for Benson. Is he reliable? No, he's totally unreliable. But he has so many pernicious habits, he's got nowhere to run. Can you take care of Kelso? Don't push me, Harlan. Get rid of the fruitcake. It's no longer necessary. I'll take care of Jack Kelso. <laughs> no, we took care of him, brother. <laughs> he didn't stand a goddamn chance. Not sure if he bled out, but fingers crossed. <laughs> God, two newspapers in one. That's amazing. Look at this piece of shit, man. What do you got here? Oh. Ooh. Is that the guy's lighter? Probably. Destroyed by a monster of your own creation, Dr. Fontaine. I don't even feel I've bad. I've heard that story somewhere before. Don't even feel bad. He deserved it. After what he did to poor Courtney. Courtney didn't deserve that. Courtney wasn't innocent, but he didn't deserve that. But doctor, you sure did. Alright. Oh, that's what... Yeah. 
So much for your foresight, Doctor. <laughs> I love these freaking quips right now. Help is on fire today. Anything else? Anything about Elsa? I don't really see anything. Anything? Ooh, whoa. Good doctor has been marking this map. <gasps> I love these. Whoa. The heck? Not good enough? Okay, <laughs> I was like, that's pretty good game. Edgewood Grove, McCarthy Vista, Crescent Heights, Rancho Escondido. Do those names mean anything to you, Herschel? Yeah. How come? Are those where all the fires were? New houses. All being built in the path of the freeway? Oh, smart. You gotta admit, these guys are pretty smart. Hmm. Alright. Excuse me, sir. Ooh. List below are the properties you wanted accounted for. My associates have visited each and made a thorough survey. And from what he tells me, I gather these families and residents no longer require the assistance provided by our relocation program. What does that even mean? Fontaine was having the houses burned from Monroe. Why? Sawyer. Why is that name familiar? Monroe wasn't happy. People started dying and it attracted attention. He and the doctor lost control. Oh, that's the last family that burned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Harlan, this was not our arrangement. Your associate is overstepping his mark. Get him under control or I will take whatever action necessary. Speak to Curtis. Yeah, let's look at that. The heck is Curtis? Okay. Subject was born in a farming family. Father found work as a stuntman in a low budget cowboy film. <laughs> uh, funny. Alright. Subject trained as a gas fitter and showed some mechanical aptitude. But was drafted into the Marines. He served as probably something to do with fire. Subject's father died. He returned from service to live alone. Okay. Um, began to experience diminished physical symptoms, but became highly susceptible to suggestion. Oh. Subject is fighting persistent delusions and paranoid tendencies. However, it is the opinion of the physician that any relaxation of these treatments would be dangerous. Oh, oh shit. Cool. <laughs> That's great. I know he was crazy anyway, so. Jack was wrong. It's not about insurance, it's about eminent domain. What are you talking about, Cole? The government reclaims the land in the path of the freeway and pays the improved value of the land with the new houses sitting on it. What about the stiffs who paid their deposits? Worst case, they get their money back. But the syndicate pockets millions on the improved value of the land. So where does Jack's boss come into it? He's the key. He carries the insurance. The insurance proves how much the houses are worth. And they're oh. worth nothing? Firewood. All of them. That's about as neat a scam as you can imagine. How are we going to prove any of this, Cole? The doctor's dead. The roll nearly bled to death. If they get Jack... We need the firebug. The Oki Cowboy. Get him, get Elsa. Get him, get all of them. I think Elsa's gonna get KO'd. I think she's toast. I wonder if they're gonna kill up Phelps. That'd be interesting. <gasps> My mans. 
Oh, that looks super creepy. <laughs> of course he's staying in a creepy house. I didn't think I was playing a horror game. <laughs> That's alright, Kelso can handle anything. He's a goddamn thug. He already figured it out. Of course he did. <laughs> Hello. Guess nobody's home. It kind of looks like somebody's home. Oh. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Those guys bring home a 45 or an M1. This is pretty extreme. He has a flamethrower. Hell yeah. Can I use a flamethrower, please? That'd be amazing. I want it in my life. Um, sir? Okay. I'm here for my whammon. She isn't my woman yet, but she will be. No one can resist this. <laughs> oh, here are all the cranes, yeah. We saw him following cranes earlier. Oh wow, he's he's been busy. Oh my god. It's kind of impressive. I don't think he's close to a thousand yet, though. Right? Is it, is it a thousand? I think so. Quite a flock you got here, kid. <laughs> is it all the flyer? <laughs> yeah. This guy's so crazy. <laughs> That's awesome. I like how he folded it back for him. That's super cute. <laughs> Oh, tunnels, huh? The river tunnels. This guy's a tunnel rat. Fun. That's gonna be a good time. Not really, but I'm sure we'll enjoy it. This is giving me... A strange obsession. The vibes of the last homicide case. That case was really cool. But it's definitely giving me those vibes. Oh, yeah, that's a newspaper article I was talking about. How it all comes together. Look at his toilet. Gorgeous. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's get the frick out of here. I don't like this place. What, what's up? I put the, if you guys haven't noticed, I put the clue indicator back on because the last case kicked my butt and I needed it and I forgot to take it off and since it's the last case I figured it'd be nice so we don't miss anything important. Hello? That was me. Okay. Alright, well. What did I not go here before? What the heck is this? Oh, there's the valve. Oh, so he, w yeah, he did the arson for all of that. Kind of knew that, but. That sucks. Put so many innocent people in jail again. <laughs> when will we learn? <laughs> heck is that? Nothing. Cool. <laughs> Love it. I hear flies and I don't like that. Okay, I kind of did full circle. Have I gotten in these doors at all? No. This is really creepy, guys. <laughs> the frick is this? Elsa? Do at least have a gun? I hope he has a gun. Oh. A screwdriver, nice. Okay, well, am I done here? Oops, sorry. Am I done? Nope. Okay. I'm a sir. I just came for my whammon. I need to get back inside. The only way I can finish this thing is to put a name to that bastard. Sorry, game. <laughs> it's been a few weeks since I played, okay? I feel like I looked everywhere. The freak. Is there more in this creepy room? Oh, 
There we go. Hey, that's my unit. I know those faces. There's Jesus Phelps. Christ, I know every one of them. What? <laughs> oh my God, Ira. You poor backward son of a bitch. Aw, oh, shit, bruh. I didn't realize we knew him. That's interesting. Peterson, I'm going to need some help. I've got Monroe, Fontaine, and all the others. It's all tied up nicely. It goes all the way to the top. Meet me at the LA River Tunnel entrance just north of the First Street Bridge in half an hour. Don't ask questions. Just be there. This is DA's investigator, Jack Kelso. I have an urgent radio message for Detective Cole Phelps. I think it's so cute that they're working together. <laughs> very unexpected, but very cute. Eleven K, <laughs> Go ahead, KGPL. Eleven K, you see the man. A two oh seven just occurred on the spillway north of the First Street Bridge. The A's investigator Jack Kelso reports a kidnapping suspect outstanding in the LA River tunnel system with a hostage. Eleven K and Roger three. That. The hell is Jack playing at? Like a suicide <laughs> note. Half the LAPD will be down there hunting for us. We need to get there first. All units on all frequencies stand by. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit of suspect vehicle heading southwest on Sunset Boulevard. Suspect vehicle belonging to Jack Kelso. Described as a Navy Chevrolet Fleet Line. License number 4, William 0286. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit. They picked up his car. I'll need help to make it to the river. <laughs> this is getting crazy. I forgot why Kelso is wanted. Why is Kelso wanted again? I don't remember. That's Kelso's car. Oh yeah, last chase scene. Let's do this. All units, chief warning that the suspect is armed and extremely dangerous. Repeat, extremely dangerous. Oh, suspect shit. vehicle to be disabled immediately. Don't you touch my mains. Haha, <laughs> you cops suck ass. Jax, I'm here. You're alright, Jack. Jesus Christ! <laughs> How many cops are these guys on? How dare you touch me, peasant. All units, all units. We have a new suspect vehicle. Shop number one. Oh, are we another suspect now? Ah! <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Damn, tootin' I am. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Jack, hurry up. Let's go. Oh, shit, man. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Don't worry, Jack, I got him. <laughs> Shit, my boy. I can't get this guy. <gasps> they want to murder me? That's not very nice. Oh my god. <laughs> he murdered himself. Haha, uh -huh, just for him. <laughs> Alright, Jack, we gotta get the frick out of here, dude. Bitches are crazy. Alright, I turned off my things so they can't find us. That's right, Jack. I think we lost him. Yes, perfect. The railroad. Genius. What up, brother? <laughs> that wasn't as epic as I thought, Who but I think it's because I got too close to him. Assistant DA. What's he doing? He's here to cover our backs. I'm going in there, Jack. No one's trying to stop you. I found this at the ranch house. He's marked his routes. I'll go in here. Cole, you take the next entrance. Biggs, I need you to take the car and cover this spot here. I think that's his fail safe exit. Cole. 
He's one of ours. What are you talking about? Right where you are. Got it. Got it. Good. <laughs> Peterson, you want to be DA? We'll earn your salt. <laughs> so, Kelso is your boy, Peterson. Ah, oh, let's go back. Get him out. With Phelps? Get him out of here. A handy lad, that Kelso. Yes, he is, Chief. You can't imagine what those two have uncovered. It could go all the way to the top. I hope you won't be implicated. So, you're the new broom, Peterson? Looks like it. And you think he'll make it out of there alive? Oh my god, he's I think he might. He's sending his boys. He's a difficult boy to get rid of. All right, Peterson. I'm listening. What's your offer? <laughs> Who are we? Are we Kelso? Fuck yeah. That's how it's done, boys. Oh yeah, we have buddies. Wow. Oh. Get out here. Go out in the box. Your choice. Oh, this is horrible. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's been a long time since I played. Get the fuck out of here. Come on. Say it. Say hello. Bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah? You think so, huh? Jack Kelso doesn't go into cover. He's too rich of a thug. Just kidding. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> How about you, beautiful? Him so much that was pathetic. Keep on going, Jack. You get this. I'm Jack Kelso. I don't use cover because I don't need it. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, I didn't know you could do that. This whole game, I didn't know you could do that. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. This is my worst nightmare. For someone who gets lost like I do. This is absolutely a nightmare fuel. And I forgot how you run. Alright, let's go. Okay, sorry. Alright, boys, who wants to play? Who wants it? What the fuck is going on over there? That boy just light his ass on fire. What? I think it's crazy that the the guy is someone from our unit. I would never have guessed. I went the wrong way. You guys, this is what I said. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> God, an under underground water maze. Like, screw you, game. <laughs> My worst goddamn nightmare. Hi! Hit you in the butt. <laughs> Hi! Let's just die. Thank you. Shit. No, you bullets. Thanks. So are you, good sir. Hello? Someone want these hands? Hi. How long do you think you can hold up? <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> I forgot how to run those, so we're just gonna casually walk the whole way. <laughs> My bad. Oh, can I have it, please? I want the flamethrower, please. That'd be sick. I want to burn people. Come on, Ira. You can't be the only one to have fun. Why can't I run? This is bullshit. Oh, there it is. Found it. Finally. Who can't hit me? I'm bulletproof. Get off my hat, bitch. What? I shot you dead. Stay dead, please. Alright, where's the last mother? 
Say hello. Who he is talking shit? Hmm? You're surrounded and your buddies are dead. That's right. Square up. How the heck do I get down? Let me down, game, please. What in tarnation? How do I get down? Uh. You can walk out of here or go out in a box. Oh, right Your choice. What the frick is happening? Hello? I guess we go this way. Oh my god. <laughs> How am I freaking this up right now? Hello? Can I get down, please? There. Light him up. Am I crazy? There's no way down. There it is. I was like, you guys, how do I get out of here? <laughs> how long do you think you can hold out? Here's Cow Show. That was sick. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I like this gun. It's a good gun. It's a good solid. Solid gun. Appreciate it. Alright, who wants my intention, huh? Don't anyone shoot me in the butt. <laughs> Only I can do that. It's my signature move, okay? The water's right. Oh, cool. Nice. Hi, beach of fell. Oh, Alright, let's get forget. Oh. Can't go that way. I got it, game thanks. Please don't murder Kelso. He's the best one. I'd be so sad. Okay, uh, how do I get out of here? Oh, there's a ladder. I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. Not today, water. You ain't that cool. Alright, who wants these hands? Hmm. Oh, I went in a circle. Uh, what? Why did I... Wait a minute. Can I... You can jump that, for sure. Do a shimmy then? What? You could totally jump that, Kelso. Come on now. Whatever. You totally could've. Just saying. Oh my god, this is a maze? Are you kidding me? Come on, game. Don't do this. What in... What the frick, bro? Alright. <laughs> Love this. This is the best. Okay, it's gotta be like... What? What, what the frick, bro? I'm gonna get us killed, because I don't understand the assignment. Uh, this way, maybe? How about this? This right? There you go. Are you okay, princess? <laughs> I felt Shit, better. I feel good now. <laughs> he saved me from the doctor. Hi, Tex. Do you remember me? I'm not sure that I do. Have you come here to kill her? Why would I do that, soldier? Isn't that why you're all here? I'm here to get her out. Her. But not me. Well. You haven't come for me. Well. <laughs> no, not you. It ends here. You were with the sixth on Sugarloaf, weren't you? Mm -hmm. I was. And Naha? Yes, I was. You're Sergeant Jack Kelso, aren't you? Where's your uniform, Sarge? At home in my locker, Hogaboom! War's over, soldier! I know that, Sarge. I'm fighting a different kind of war. I fight for God. Ooh, I love when we you all put the fight title for on God, there. Ira. In our own ways. Not everyone knows it. Elsa! Are you alright? Get away from her! Oh, relax. It's alright, Cole. He doesn't want to hurt her. Ira was with us on Okinawa. What? You know this guy? Don't you remember me, Lieutenant? I remember you. No. Don't. You ordered me to burn that cave, Lieutenant. 
dead cave full of civilians. A hospital. What is he talking about? It was war. For God's sake, I can't be held responsible for everything that happened. I don't blame you, Lieutenant. You helped me to help other people. Oh, God. Ira lost his mind on Okinawa, Princess. Sheldon asked the doctor to help him get back. The doctor helped me to find my path. And I helped him to a better life. Elsa's going to leave now, Ira. She will be all right. You've helped her, too. Get her out of here. Vix will help. His exit is nearby. Jack, I need this guy to make the case. Hasn't this poor bastard given you enough? Get out of here now! For God's sake, Jack! What are you going to do? Don't cry, miss. Sergeant Kelso has come to help ease my way. Oh, my God. I was proud to serve you, Jack. Get out of here, Cole! God, Kelso's like a thousand times the man. Cole is cool as shit. <laughs> They're burned to a crisp. Finish them off. Do it humanely. We are leaving this place. You do it, Phelps. Get your own fucking hands dirty. Ah! I'm out of morphine. Ah! Help! Ah! Ah! Put these people out of their pain. Now, that's an order. Everyone out of here now. Double time! You two get Lieutenant Belt to an aid station. Weapon team will be blowing this place in two minutes. Everything that happened in here stays in here. Do you hear me? I don't want to ever hear another word about it. Oh, that's fucked up. Holy shit. Kill that man! He's doing him a favor, Elsa. Cole, up here! I'll get this way away! Hurt. The water is rising! They're first! Hand her up! Get out of here! You're not here! I'm not arguing! You're wounded, Jack! Let me help! What are you waiting for? Jump, Cole! Jump for it! I... Oh my god, I called that shit. <laughs> no! I don't even like Cole and that hurt. <laughs> Dude, I was totally joking earlier that he was gonna die. I was totally kidding. Oh, fuck. No, I'm not crying for Phelps, okay? I'm not doing it. God, I can't believe they actually killed him off. That's a pretty fitting ending, actually. That's pretty good. We're gathered here to honor Detective Cole Phelps. Why is Roy talking? <laughs> Cole Phelps was the best kind That's of the man. the biggest F you, dude. Here, here. <laughs> a war hero who led his men with true valor. Mm -hmm. And through his personal bravery, achieved one of his country's highest honors. A cop wrongly accused who never lost his faith in the LAPD and the system. God! You belittle his memory. Seriously. Elsa. Get out of my way, Jack. You call yourself his friend. A detective who fought to expose the evil corruption of the murderous Dr. Fontaine and the rapacious property tycoon Leyland Monroe. Go to her. Will you, Herschel? A reformer who we'll recognized the need Jack. to remove the odd bad apple oh, from a department shit. made up of good men. Herschel? A man who never gave up. Yeah, Jack. Who continued to fight enemy. the good fight. I think you knew that, Jack. 
Oh, that the hurts, that man. Shit. <laughs> God, what a big F a you husband. to have Roy speak at this. A good father. Mm, that's so fucking and rude. may I say... A good Get friend. Get him out of here. Ugh. I know Phelps was a lot, but like, this is messed up. God, that's so mean. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. I mean, you guys, I didn't like Phelps, okay? I didn't like Phelps. But, like, that... That's some dirty shit right there. They did him dirty. All right, guys, that was the end of LA Noir, and you guys, oh my god, they did Phelps so dirty at the end. Like, I know Phelps had his faults, and I know that he had some issues, okay? He cheated, he wasn't the best man, didn't have the best courage, didn't make the best decisions during wartime, but like, to make it so Roy freaking spoke at his funeral wow <laughs> that's the biggest f you have ever seen <laughs> that was really rough um i'm actually kind of conflicted about the ending i think i did make a joke while we were playing the last case that um phelps might die and i really didn't think they were gonna do that like that it was pretty surprising actually um but i feel like in a way it kind of is a beautiful ending. I kind of like that not everyone survived and it was really beautifully done. Um, and I liked, honestly, that it wasn't a good ending, right? Like, the bad guys got away with it and um, our main character died, you know? Uh, they don't really do that in a lot of games anymore and I feel like that's such a sad thing that doesn't, it doesn't happen as often and not because i want all my characters that i play to die like i'm not crazy um uh, but just like it's real life you know it's, that's kind of how it is sometimes corruption sometimes wins P good people end up dying um you know i really liked phelps because he is a very very interesting character he's not perfect he's a lot of flaws but he tries his best and he tries to be better and he, in his own way, tries to do the right thing. And I feel like that really embodied that at the end there when he made sure that Jack and um, Elsa got out before him. And I feel like that really showed that even though he made a lot of mistakes in his life, he really was trying to be better and he really was trying to make up for it by you know, being a cop and, you know, fighting for justice and putting his life on the line to do so. On the other hand, Phelps did, like I said, have a lot of issues and make a lot of mistakes. How he handled Jack Kelso, especially throughout all of wartime and especially after when they met, was a little bit bumpy and it was very telling that Cole, although trying to improve himself, just wasn't ready to face his past quite yet still and i feel like jack really made him confront himself and maybe that's why he also sacrificed himself at the end because his fast was directly in his face and he had to own up to it um but still i still can't believe they did him so fucking dirty at the end like that's that was so messed up you guys that was that was rough um Overall, though, the game was absolutely beautiful. I think this is actually the longest playthrough on my channel so far, and I'm really glad we played it. I know it's older game, and I know there was, you know, some bumps along the way. I feel like Arson wasn't super fascinating, but it was beautiful for the story as a whole. Um, but yeah, overall, my thoughts are absolutely stellar game. I feel like it really paved a path for games like this, especially, you know, killing off the main characters kind of thing and not having happy endings, which are honestly more towards my kind of favorite games because I feel like it's more holistic. Um, but I know that's not why people play games, right? We usually play games to escape life and to, you know, have maybe happier endings that maybe we are experiencing ourselves or the world around us. 
But I really like these kind of games because it makes you realize, you know, people aren't perfect. People try their best and sometimes their best isn't good enough and that kind of sucks but that's also just how life works and you know unfortunately not everybody wins and unfortunately not every time do the bad guys get justice sometimes they get away with it like this case and how it ended um and some you know our world is corrupt and our world is people are selfish and people are greedy and Although there is some ugly parts in the world, there's also some beauty to it. And I think that really shows with the parallel between like our partners are actually good people um, and just unfortunately in a city situation and system. So overall, like I said, amazing. Absolutely 10 out of 10. Probably my favorite game. If not, definitely top five. Um, I wish they made more games like this. I wish there was like LA Noir part two, but um, I also think it's beautiful on its own. So I'm like happy they didn't make a second one but also like kind of sad that they didn't make a second one but yeah overall you guys highly recommend this game if you haven't played it it is absolutely stunning definitely replayable because it's hard <laughs> it's hard to see and determine people's facial expressions and find all the clues and figure it all out and obviously there's extra stuff i didn't do the police side crime things um so i really like this game there's a replay i really like that there's like a replayability to this game if you will um i personally probably will not maybe in a few years when i'm feeling nostalgic i'll come back here and try to get f five stars every day all day every day um but yeah overall i hope you guys really enjoyed this journey with me i'm gonna be really sad to see this game go it was a couple months duration on this channel which is a new thing for us and it just was beautiful. Um, it piqued my detective skills, and I just love the bittersweet beauty that the game has. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. If you did, go leave a like and comment below, and of course subscribe to see, well, not this game, but other games in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.